Alright. So... This is going to be probably actually a pretty short one, but I just wanted to say... Not too long ago... Um... A petition of mine had a birthday. And that petition is a petition to try and get Twitter a platform which allows minors to either not allow minors or ban pedophiles. Because I don't like the fact that a platform that has minors on it has fucking pedophiles on it. Um, I didn't know it was such a big fucking issue until uh, I started to speak out against pedophilia acceptance in libertarian circles. Um, and I don't mean generally. I mean, like, there are certain libertarians that get away with bullshit. Um, and we should be the party that has no problem, and by party I mean group of people, fuck the LP, uh, the group of people with enough principle to stand up to these people, and, uh, and say, hey, don't be on a platform that has children in it, that's not good. You know? Um... And I, ca I caught that flack because I started to go after, uh, I, I forget how it started, but somebody, like, said that uh, it's as long as it's uh, not hurt, like, as long as it's not a, an, an NAP violation or whatever, right, that that should be fine. It should be fine that they feel that way. You know, they shouldn't go for any fucking help, they should just, you know, we should just leave them alone. They're not hurting anybody. Be libertarian about it. That's not libertarianism. Libertarianism isn't, I'm going to leave you alone with your thoughts. Some libertarians might want to do that, but part of libertarianism is free speech and free association, which means I can use my speech to criticize your associations. Because I have the free will, and I own myself, and I should be able to use myself and my will to say, this shit is fucking bad. Well, I got approached uh, by a pro-pedophile account, and it sent me down a rabbit hole that I'm still in, and it gets deeper every day, and even the circles that are against them, I find corruption in. But I find a lot, a lot of corruption in theirs, primarily. I've helped push many a uh, pedophile off social media platforms of a variety of natures. Uh, I've had <laughs> a Discord suspended over fucking going against them in general. Because we were go targeting people in groups or whatever. So, l let me be real clear and extremely specific when I say that I haven't changed my mentality and in fact I've probably gotten more extreme. My petition is nearing 15,000 signatures now. And it's nearing two years. Sorry, it's it's over two years. It's 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 nearing like the, the month mark after that two year and it's did it work? no no it didn't spoiler alert no it didn't no my petition didn't work because twitter doesn't care that they have a pedophile problem like my choices were very simple you know I want either the kids or the pedos off Twitter. I don't think they'll kick the kids off Twitter because that would nuke their platform. You know? It would kill engagement. But there aren't that many fucking pedophiles on there. And they could definitely get rid of those people 
without compromising their fucking stock options. They won't do that, though. I also wanted it to become easier to report child sexual exploitation, abuse, pedophilia. I wanted it to be easier to report it when an adult is creeping on a kid than having to know where the super special secret form is. Um, there's a drop-down menu and a report option for literally fucking everything else. Why is there not for this is a terrible situation that might get worse very quickly. I need a quick option to get this creep away from this kid. Why is there no option for that in the drop-down menu? Why do we have this shit-ass new font and, and, and loss of of color in following buttons or or just the flipping of the the toggled function so that it confuses people why do we have that why do we have that why do we have these these highly controlled theme colors instead of giving us the option to theme our own profiles why do we not have an edit button when there are still pedophiles on your platform Part of the reason I went so hard against these people is because I saw fucking actual CP on the site when I was going down this rabbit hole. And it fucking scars me. And I hate that it's common. You know, I reported it. That's all you can do. And there are teams of people who literally have reported this stuff until their house was raided by the government for telling them that there's something wrong. And Twitter still doesn't have an easy option to report them. Two years. Now let's say hypothetically Twitter was not made aware let's say hypothetically Twitter was not made aware that there was this petition there if not if Twitter hasn't been made aware of the petition that's right fucking there you know if that hasn't happened in the two years that it's been up right I don't understand, you know, unless change just doesn't give a fuck, unless that's the case, because my petition has 13,149 signatures. It has that many signatures has been two years. It has 114 promoters, meaning 114 people who gave change.org money. 1,089.24 contributions. And 5K signatures generated from that money. But no fucking action. So what does that mean? It means that Twitter has either been informed and doesn't give a fuck or change has not sent this to Twitter. So it either means that Twitter doesn't care about child sexual abuse because these are real simple options here. Real easy to implement. Just write it into your terms of service no pedos allowed. We have a platform of minors. Maybe they shouldn't be here. It's real simple. And add a little addition to the list for the drop down thing so that it's real easy to report people for pedo shit. Ideally, before they delete it. I saw a dude the other day talking about. Um, 
how because I'm still in these circles. They still send me shit they want to, you know, get some attention on, get some action on. I'm still doing this sort of thing. Um and I was sent this guy who thinks it's totally okay to sexually molest babies. And he deletes his tweets after he sends them. And he does this again and again and again and again. And that means he can't be reported because the tweets are already gone. You can't report an, a non-existent tweet. So what can you do? Not much. It's difficult. It's challenging. It's taxing. I hate it. I hate the fact that a petition can exist for two years that nearly 15,000. You know that. So when you look at your petition on change, this it says at 15,000 signatures, this petition becomes one of the top signed on change.org. What does that tell you about change.org? That this <laughs> is one of, almost one of the top signed <laughs> fucking petitions and nothing has happened. Nothing. They've gotten uh, close-ish by saying you can't promote it. Not good enough. They just don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the work that will go into having an easier time reporting this stuff. Or keeping these people off the platform to begin with. They don't want to learn the new acronyms that these fuckers come up with. They don't want to learn the new emojis. They don't want to ha have to add that to their trust and safety team meetings. They don't want to do that because... That would be hard. And they don't want that. They 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 just want that if you could just stop making it so hard for us. It's so hard. It's hard running this platform and censoring anyone we don't like for their political opinions. But pedos, they get to stay. We're perfect. Fuck you. I just maybe there's a problem. When activists and journalists are suspended before pedophiles. Maybe that's like an issue. Maybe I've watched active grooming cases develop. Where real people are affected by the people Twitter allows on their platform. Maybe I've seen CP go unnoticed, unaddressed, and unfucked with. Maybe there are articles about that, how, ooh, it's just not against our policies. We're just too blind to see that the thing is against our policies. But we're totally not the bad guys. When? When did that become true? They're the villains. They're hosting child porn right now. They're doing it right now. They're doing that, and they're hosting pedophiles and pro-pedophilia content because they won't sack up and say we won't allow pedos here they won't take that uncomfortable step they won't have that uncomfortable conversation because then not only do they have to admit that they have pedophiles on their platform and that that's why they're making this change but they also have to admit that they've been obfuscating the issue this whole thing fucking time like I'm exhausted I've spent too much time on this issue and there are too many people you <laughs> the platform would have a lot better image if it just didn't allow these people because then you wouldn't have all these fucking accounts going around acting like since they got somebody suspended from Twitter they've committed an activism Because they ain't. The activism is trying to get them to not be able to be on Twitter to begin with. That's the activism. This is damage control. And a bunch of people are cleaning up Twitter's mess for free. 
Unpaid interns. You know, it'd violate labor law if, you know, Twitter saw its users as people and not numbers. But they don't. That's why I don't care that a kid might get groomed. That's why I don't care that a kid might be, like, coerced into making porn. That's why I don't care that a kid in a bad mental space might be taken advantage of by an adult, by a fucking adult, by a pedophile, by a pedophile that they allow on their platform, by a pedophile that they have not barred from their platform despite thousands of people wanting that. Because the people that they talk about, they're numbers. They're numbers. They're not people. Right? We don't have to worry about their lives. We just have to worry about whether or not our stock options drop. That's Twitter. It's irritating. It's exhausting. It sucks. It sucks to watch my friends who are posting about truth get censored by Twitter. It's frustrating to see concepts that do matter shadow banned because they can't censor the individual for fucking TOS violations so they just make sure nobody can see their tweets but make sure we don't say jack shit about fucking pedophiles in our terms of service that would be bad we can't have that we can't bar pedophiles but we can hide that guy with opinions you don't like automatically so that you never have to think outside of our pre-prescribed notions we can talk about how tweets are misleading when we can't prove that they are uh, but we can't kick pedophiles off the fucking platform. Oh, we can't have this content, this controversial political content. It damages our ads. Then why do you allow pedophiles? Shut the fuck up, or we'll ban you. You're bad for our ads. Pointing out how we're complicit in terrible things happening to children. You're bad for our ads. Shh. But they're not, right? They're great for your ads. Are they your target demographic, Twitter? Is that what, because that, that seems like, that seems like the only available option. You want them there because they're your bottom line. They're your bread and butter. Without them, your site would go tits up, right? Well, hey, you know, maybe it should. Maybe if your site can't exist without pedophiles, your site shouldn't exist. Maybe Twitter is a toxic cesspit of vile dilution of facts, reason, discourse. Maybe the whole thing is flawed and you just don't want to add that cherry on top that says, hey, there's this serious problem with kitty porn and fucking pedophiles on our platform. There has been for a while and we need to address it, you don't want to do that because that would be hard and you would have to look bad for a little bit. So you just let it happen. You just let it happen while real lives are damaged and destroyed. Good, Twitter. You did a good. And of course, this video is going to get suppressed. This video is not going to get seen. This video is going to do shit poorly because YouTube suppresses information and content like this, too. <laughs> it's almost like they're protecting a certain group of people that serve their interests in some kind of way. Maybe. Maybe that's why. Maybe the people at the top of social media... The people in the Silicon Valley fucking ivory towers, coastal elites, come and banging on all of our doors for our information, for our fucking lives. 
maybe they're kind of creepy themselves. Maybe that's why they're all affiliated with people like Epstein. Huh? And there are more Epsteins out there, too. And more Epsteins form because of places like Twitter where they're allowed to talk to minors. But people like me get to be the bad guy. I'm just a terrible person, aren't I? That's why you suppress me. That's why you shadow ban me. That's why you hide my friends and me from my friends. You don't like the fact that there are freedom friends against you fuckers. You fascist fucks. I see you. And I ain't ever gonna shut my fucking eyes to your corruption. I don't care how this petition does. I just care that enough people saw it that they know it's an issue. So please, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And blow this video the fuck up. Make sure it happens to be on all people's feeds, from all accounts, so that people can see that this is a serious fucking problem that hasn't been addressed for years! And then maybe we can get some action. Till then, I've been Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state.